Oh! 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 Five on times two. Let's go. That's a clean freaking multi. Teach me how to multi, baby. Can somebody teach me how to multi? Teach me how to multi. Teach me, teach me how to multi. What's up, guys? Keith here, aka Dean Tricks, and I'm excited. Something that I've been wanting since 2016 has finally happened. We have Purple Exclusion Zone. Like I said, I have been wanting this since Modern Warfare Remastered came out in 2016. This is the greatest freaking thing. So shout out to Magni and the H1 Discord server for this camo. My dreams have become reality because my favorite color is purple, if you couldn't tell. It's not too obvious right but just look at it on the s tag it is freaking beautiful here is the original shot of it from magni now i know what you're thinking keith yours looks a little bit different yeah so if you look at mine it has a lot more texture and i will actually tell you how i did that so you guys remember that my favorite camo in h1 was the purple pap camo so what i actually did is i went into the purple pap camo files and i extracted one of the texture images from the actual folder when you download the zip file for the camo so i put the image of the texture here up on the screen this is the image file that i took from the purple pap camo and added it onto the exclusion zone camo to give it more texture and more pop and it turned out freaking beautiful so even though i modified mine just a little bit i still highly recommend going into the h1 discord server and downloading this camo this is absolutely gorgeous and just looking at it here on this variant of the m40a3 it's freaking beautiful so at this point it has been a month since i have uploaded because i have just been struggling to make content i just i haven't really known what to make content on as of lately however i still do have a couple of videos in the works but i'm holding on to them at the moment because the modern warfare 2 beta is literally just around the corner just a couple of days from now and i've still yet to be able to snag a playstation beta code because i pre ordered on pc so i'm still trying to get a code if anybody watching this knows how i can get one for you or if you have any information on how i can get one drop it down in the comment section your boy needs a beta code and there haven't been too many people playing h1 as of lately h1 is continuing to die off and it really hurts my soul because honestly this is all i've been really wanting to play still even over the past couple of months that this has been out that was a disaster. But speaking of the Modern Warfare 2 beta, I am truly hoping to be able to use the MSR when the beta does drop. Because the MSR is one of my favorite snipers of all time. But I know a lot of people are upset that the intervention was not in the weapon listing when they were leaked however i am still convinced will be in the main game at some point like it's modern warfare 2 what would modern warfare 2 be without the intervention it just it, it only makes sense to me like if you're going to make a modern warfare 2 reboot it, the, in the intervention has to be involved i mean that has to be the most iconic sniper in all of call of duty history but also i'm a little biased just because it's my favorite sniper in call of duty history the msr is in the second place spot i'm not complaining i am not upset whatsoever because we have the msr the msr was my baby in modern warfare 3 and i cannot wait to smack some clips with that thing but also i saw some camo leaks and with the camos i am not impressed so far it pretty much looks like a copy and paste almost of modern warfare 2019's camos like that just it doesn't make a whole lot of sense i mean i i mean i, I understand that camos are just a very small thing but those are small grinds that keep us going people are gonna grind out the mastery camos i mean regardless no matter what the camos look like for me i'm not a mastery camo grinder never have been possibly never will be i snipe my whole entire way through every single game so yeah i'm not really impressed with the camos files that i have seen thus far i'm impressed with 
the snipers because we have a good number of snipers from Modern Warfare 2019 that are making a reappearance in Modern Warfare 2022. Like the AX-50, the SPR, and the MK2. I think they are actually going to do a sniper category this time instead of a marksman category from the looks of it, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But I also want to know if the Car 98 is going to make a reappearance. Now, as much as I love the AX-50, I feel like the Car 98 was my baby through a majority of the game in Modern Warfare 2019. I'm pretty sure that I had more kills with the Car 98 than I had with anything else, but I also abused the crap out of the SPR when it came to Modern Warfare 2019. So needless to say, I'm really looking forward to the SPR as well. I hope that's in the beta. I cannot wait to see how these guns feel compared to Modern Warfare 2019 because honestly, I personally feel like Modern Warfare 2019, I truly think the game felt really, really good when it comes to performance, movement, and the overall flow, except for the weapon and balancing and the non-active radar. But according to some Activision leaks, the radar is going to go back to the traditional radar that we've always known in Call of Duty because Modern Warfare 2019 was designed to not have a radar and if you guys remember when the game first launched it did not have a radar whatsoever so they added the radar after getting negative feedback from people because nobody was playing the game for that specific reason just because the game did not have a radar it made me want to quit the game so they pretty much put their foot down right away added in a radar but their twist on it was that it was a non sound detective radar so somebody can sit in a corner and shoot their gun all day long and it will not not light up on the radar which made the game very very campy so besides that and the weapon and balancing i feel like the game was very very good but that's just my preference in my personal opinion but overall i'm excited i am very excited for modern warfare 2 i've always had great faith in infinity ward i know that with the last game being modern warfare 2019 from infinity ward not everybody loved it, but most Activision titles have been getting a lot of flack when it comes to Call of Duty over the past 10 years or so. But yeah, like I said, I am very excited. This game release season seems very good so far, especially compared to last year. I feel like last year's game release season, they were very boring. I feel like the last good game release season that we had was in 2020 even though 2020 was a rough year for most people i feel like the game release season was still really good despite the whole panoramic that was going on i don't want to use the other p word on youtube but people keep asking me all the time why do i still have faith in Call of Duty when roughly the last 10 titles have been pretty bad based amongst the community. I kind of have a little bit of an unpopular opinion about it. You guys know I loved Modern Warfare 2019 even through its dark times. I did not like Cold War. That was the first Call of Duty that I had ever actually given up on and Vanguard got very boring very quick. I had faith in Vanguard. I really did, but I got bored so fast because they were not doing anything with the game. No major changes were being made and it just became a constant repeat. I can officially say that I'm not a fan of Vanguard in the slightest anymore. But in regards to my unpopular opinion, around the time of Call of Duty Ghosts is when COD really started to fall apart. Ghosts got a very bad rap, but personally, I loved it. I loved Ghosts. I truly did. The campaign was phenomenal. I loved the multiplayer. The sniping that year felt very smooth, and the game was different. It, it was very different. They put a lot of different twists to that game, but I genuinely enjoyed those changes. I enjoyed the game overall. Then going into Advanced Warfare, I loved Advanced Warfare. Despite the jetpack era being my least favorite, in my opinion, I feel like Advanced Warfare was the best jet jetpack COD. That's just my opinion. Black Ops 3, I didn't enjoy that much. And Infinite Warfare, <laughs> we're not even going to talk about it. That was just horrendous. Then World War II came out and I was genuinely having fun again. I genuinely loved the game. I loved World War II 
but dealing with Sledgehammer's bullcrap was just awful. And my YouTube at that time was really popping off. I felt like things during that era for me were pretty good within gaming and creating content. Black Ops 4 is one of my least favorite Call of Duties of all time. When the game first came out, I hated it. I despised it. I didn't want anything to do with it. I just did not like the whole operator aspect being brought into Call of Duty. Ah! You suck! When they added in bare bones and bolt action bare bones, which is no operators, no specialist abilities, just straight sheer gun skill. And like I said before, it made the game feel like an upgraded Black Ops 2, which obviously to me is really good. Ah, uh, keep forgetting that there's only four rounds with the R700. I still need to go for the R750 in this game what the heck i just got bonked with a grenade and died yeah the r750 is definitely a clip that i need to go for in uh, modern warfare remastered because i don't think i actually hit one during the time period for this game but from black ops 4 after that we had modern warfare 2019 I loved the game, uh, despite the fact that there was no radar at the beginning, but they quickly added one. The weapon and balancing, though, was pretty trash. The time to kill was trash. But other than that, I thought the game felt really good. I thought it felt decently smooth. I enjoyed it. But after that, when it came to Cold War and Vanguard, they just were not it. Triple. There we go. <laughs> oh! I just missed the shot for the 5 -0. Oh, well, there's a triple single, baby. There you go. I am so happy to have another triple with this gun, man. And on Bog, too. I don't think I've ever hit a triple in that spot before, too. I hit that during a cut comm. Let's go. Man. Oh, what the? You have got to be kidding me. But guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. I really just wanted to make this video displaying the purple exclusion zone and how happy I am to finally have it. And again, shout out to Magni in the H1 Discord server for this camo. It is absolutely insane. I love it. Years ago, I said it would be so sick if the exclusion zone was purple. And here we are. Six years later, but still here nonetheless. But also wanted to talk a little bit on my thoughts about the modern warfare 2 beta and modern warfare 2 in general as we are nearly approaching the initial release of the game itself now do keep in mind that this is going to be a two-year title activision has moved to a two-year cycle with call of duty instead of every single year as they used to so that adds to the hope that this is going to be a pretty good game but i can't wait to see everybody's thoughts on the beta i cannot wait to get my hands on it and make some content on the beta itself guys i love you thank you for being here thank you for being patient with me and thank you to those who keep showing up no matter how long something may take no matter how things have been thank you for being patient with me throughout streaming throughout content throughout everything it's been a rough couple of years but we're back i'm happy to be back i can't wait till the next video i have some great videos for you guys regarding h1 regarding multi-cod and of course regarding modern warfare 2 have a wonderful week guys and i will see you in the next one for now i'm out peace